Hello my friends, finally we have here the chance to interview Marcus Zippen from Blind Guardian. Hello, how are you doing? I'm fine, sweating a bit, tired, but fine. <laughs> Blind Guardian has just actually, you know, filmed here the video for the title uh, track for the single A Voice in the Dark, but uh, actually we are going to speak, you know, with uh, Marcus about the upcoming album At the Edge of Time mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, to take some comments about the uh, warrior songs from this uh, upcoming record. Uh, okay, the first song, you know, is Sacred Words. This is actually, if I'm not wrong, uh, some kind of extended version of the uh, track. Yes, it, is, um, it was the first song that we've written for this album. Actually, we started doing this immediately after finishing the Twist in the Myth tour because we um, got the opportunity to write a song for a computer game, which was Sacred Part 2. So um, we wrote that song. Back then it was called Sacred. Uh, as I said, it was the first song we did for this album, but the version that is in the computer game uh, it didn't have the real orchestra, it has had programmed keyboard orchestras. And uh, for this album, we, we always loved the song, we also played it live already, and uh, all the reaction of the fans were very, very good. And uh, we wanted to do it with a real orchestra, which we had finally the opportunity to do so with this album. So that's how Sacred turned into uh, Sacred Worlds. It got a bit longer. The longer intro, Around 10 minutes up. actually. A bit, tiny, tiny little bit longer. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, I think if you if you compare it to the um, to the version that was in the game, you can, you know, the, the, the difference between this programmed orchestra, yes. which was very good already, and then when you hear the, the real 90 head orchestra, you know, the, the, the difference is so big and it makes so much of a difference. I'm glad that we had the chance finally to do something like this, and it's awesome. Uh, and you know, this uh, version definitely is going to be more complex, yes, comparing to a uh, previous one. Okay, yes. uh, the next song, you know, is Tunnel. It's a very fast, aggressive song in the yes. tradition of, of Old Blind Guardian. You know, a lot of people uh, sometimes. Uh, complain that uh, we should go back to the old times and do something like Summer Far Beyond again. You know, we don't like to repeat ourselves, but the roots are all there. You know, we are coming from speed metal, from aggressive, fast stuff, and we, we never forgot about this. And that song, you know, if, if people listen to that song, they can hear that, yeah, we still have it. You know? And it's, it's a lot of fun to play it. It's very, very fast, aggressive stuff, old school Blind Guardian meeting the new school blind guardian okay and i love it it's one of my favorite songs on the album okay and uh, the third one uh, actually is road of no uh, release that's more the ballad like or huh ballad like song or it's it's not really a ballad no it's uh it starts a bit calm but it pro uh, when when the song progresses it gets more and more heavy it's a bit it's it's more the 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 modern side of Blind Guardian sounds stupid, but you know, it's it's it, it it's more in the tradition of, of the later Blind Guardian A twist stuff. in the myth, like? No, not, not really a twist in the myth, I, w I would say something like maybe Imaginations, Nightfall elements in there, stuff like that, you know, it, it, it has a very nice way to, to build up, as I said, it starts rather calm, yes. gets heavier, more aggressive, it's also a song that I like a lot. Uh, and the next one is Ride Into Obsession. Very what fast like. song, yeah. Very, very fast, high-speed guitars and, and high-speed drumming. And uh, we that, that's a song that we still think about rehearsing for the tour. We didn't rehearse that one yet. Uh, we, we, we just did a set of like four days rehearsals where we, where we practiced like 40 songs or something like that. And for the next set of rehearsals, we're also aiming at that song. And we can see how good we are, if we are fast enough. <laughs> That's, that's again, traditional, old-school, like Guardian Speed Metal stuff. Okay, and the next one, Curse My Name. It's a very interesting title. Yes! It reminds me of some already tracks, you know. Yeah, does it? Uh, I don't know. 
What does it remind you of? Mm, about the Requiem, about Imagination on the other side, some titles, you know. And oh. Does it sound, you know, into... Uh, the, the music is completely different. It's a ballad. Okay. It's, 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 a ballad. A, it's, it's a very... Um, it's a very folkloristic song uh -huh. with uh, lots of uh, very folkloristic uh, uh, instruments like flutes, bagpipes, and, and stuff like this. Very Celtic, uh -huh. Celtic like. Celtic okay. like. There's even uh, um, it's a very interesting instrument on there. That's uh, step dancing. They were doing their step dancing, and we recorded it for this. It gives a very. Yes, nice I have already seen it uh, in the trailer. The trailer yes, yes, exactly. Yes, yes, okay. That's 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 the one. Uh, it's 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 a unique song. We never did. I mean, we had we had those uh, folkloristic Celtic influences already, but we never took it that far. Yes. And I really love the result. You know, I, I doubt we can play this live because there's just so many instruments going on that uh, you know, with, with just six guys on stage, it will be hard. And I don't know how it would sound if if we uh, if we ask our keyboarder to play that stuff. And maybe we would have to do step dancing on stage. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> but uh, on the album, that's one of my highlights. I have yes. to say, it's it's I, I I'm really into this kind of music. Sounds and very interesting, after all, you know this. Yeah, the, 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 the song itself is great, and one, what I really like also is that it it adds a lot to the dynamics of the album because you know you have right before that song you have high speed. Yes. Very aggressive metal stuff, and then you know things calm down a bit. I like this. And you know the sixth one, uh, Walkers. That's a song. Um, for me, that's a kind of mixture between imagination style yes. and actually Night at the Opera style. So uh, again, modern side of Blind Guardian, if you want to call it like this. Um, it has some some you know. Bright-eyed, bright, bright-eyed, bright-eyed, you know, eyes. bright-eyed, <laughs> bright-eyes uh, elements in there, and you know, it's it's mid-tempo, and uh, yeah, as I said, it's it's the the, the modern side of Blind Guardian, definitely. We will yeah. understand that you know where the journey is leading us to. You know, we have a name where we want to go with our music, and you know, like Night at the Opera was one of the steps that we had to do to get there, and I think that song, Valkyries, is you know. I think we reached a name with that song. I really, really love it. 